and welcome I'm Farmer RL and today I'm going to be showing you how to start producing thousands of tar and also leathers in Conan Exiles so getting your hands on thousands and thousands of tar and also lots of leather as a byproduct it's actually far simpler than you would think it seems hard but it's not so first of all you're going to want to set yourself up some sort of little tar producing factory and to do that you're going to want to get yourself improved tanneries with a thrail on preferably a level 4 thrail like we've got here and then as soon as you put any kind of hides in here you'll absolutely crank them out into tars now as you can see it's a 3 to 1 ratio on normal hide three normal hides makes one tar but if we look over here one for one so ideally we want to target animals that give us thick hides so we still need some normal hides for purposes of manufacturing things from leather but for purposes of farming ridiculous amounts of tar we ideally want thick hides so I'll take you now to the best spawn on the map for finding as many thick hides as you can handle now there's two ways to go farming for your leathers really you can either go with a build like we've got and we've got ridiculous amounts of strength and vitality to be able to kill our prey really fast and then we want to take an animal with us that can hold a large amount of inventory or second option is we take ourselves a really good fighter thrail with us and we go with a massive encumbrance build so we can pretty much carry unlimited amount of stuff then but to do that you will need a pretty good thrail because the enemies we're fighting are going to be really strong so if it's too strong your thrail will die because of that my ideal build is what I'm doing now so I'll do all the fighting and we'll just use an animal to carry the stuff for us so let's get him following us and then we'll head down there and here we are my favorite leather gathering location as you can see where we are on the map we're in this big yellow area which is a grassland area now this area is completely stock chock a full of elephants and rhinoceroses now these are the best thing ever for gathering leathers from to make tar and I'll show you why. Now as you can see here we've got some rhino and elephant hides in the armourer's bench. We scroll down and we click on them and we can craft them both into thick hides and we actually get three for one. And I'll just show you now it's not only elephant hides that we get off these. Just give me a minute to kill this one. skinning knife to gather leathers with you can see we've got some exotic flesh there as well and we've also got normal thick hides so as you can see one elephant 35 elephant hides 34 thick hides now with the absolute abundance of elephants and rhinos around here you can pretty quickly rack up thousands and thousands and thousands of thick hides Just killed a few things there, as you can see. Leathers are already racking up. Now, by the time you work your way around the perimeter of here, killing all the elephants and rhinos, and you get all the way back to here, they'll have spawned again. So you can literally keep going and going and going all the way around here, getting as many leathers as you want. Now, if you're going to do that, it's probably advisable to put yourself a little 2x2 or 3x3 down here. And it's also going to be advisable 
to put yourself a bedroll in there. So if you do die whilst you're doing this, you just spawn straight back here and you can go and get your stuff. So this is why I prefer to use a thrail to bring with you, because you can literally fill him to the brim. As you can see you've got ridiculous amounts of thick leathers, elephant hides and rhinoceros hides off one run. It's also going to be advisable for you to get a couple of these armor smiths down as well with a good thrail in if you can. Because as you can see, it's going to take a while to do all these that we've just gathered up. So by the time that you've done these, and if you go back and do another run, you're going to be a bit overwhelmed. So one or two of these armor benches would be ideal. So once you've got a load of thick leathers, you simply fill up your tanner bit, uh, improved tanneries with all the thick hides and then you'll just tick away producing tar now as I said you're going to want to have a good sized little factory of these so you can actually do this at a reasonable pace because even with a tier 4 thrail it still takes a good old while to make one tar so yeah if you wanted to make thousands of tar to make thousands of steel fire so we can do some raiding going to need a lot of these improved tanneries down with a lot of rails. but once you've got it set up once you've got your machines filled up just leave it go and do lots of other stuff and then you're going to have thousands and thousands of tar when you come back to your base once your factory is running nice and efficiently you'll end up with a box like this full of tar so hope you enjoyed this video on how to farm yourself a ridiculous amount of leather and tar at the same time until next time, bye bye.